Hi there, my name is Hunter Kaufman. I'm the nature and arts educator at the Ned Smith Center for Nature and Art. We all love hiking, we love to do it. We like to spend time up on the mountains. So today we're gonna talk about 10 essential things to get ready for a day hike and some trail etiquette. Welcome to Ned Talks. It's always important before you go on a hike to plan your route and know where and when you're going. Um, that's just for basic safety reasons. So you want to pick out the approximate trails you're going to follow and have a plan on when you're coming and when you're leaving. And it's also important to have an itinerary laid out and make sure someone has that itinerary. The time you're expecting to be back, any emergency contact information or what to do in case you happen to get lost. It's important to have a good pair of shoes if you're going for an extra long hike. So that may mean a good pair of hiking boots or a sturdy pair of sandals. Your feet will thank you later. You should always bring extra food with you too when you're going for a day hike. I like to bring things that don't need refrigerated like granola bars or fruit. Another essential I like to bring with me is a headlamp. So you never know how long your hike's gonna take and it can get pretty dark pretty quickly if you're not watching the time. So it's just something useful to have another uh, safety tool for you on the trail. And don't forget those extra batteries. It's important to have a charged cell phone with you when you leave for your day hike. Uh, not only is that important in case there's an emergency, but even without service, most phones can get an approximate location on maps to help you navigate if you need it. Another thing a lot of hikers don't think about is extra clothing, especially if you're going on a day hike or even backpacking. Extra clothing is very important. I like to have at least an extra shirt and some warm, dry socks. If you're hiking through a particularly large area or an area that you're not familiar with, it can be very useful to pack either a GPS or perhaps a compass too. Um, at least being able to get your bearings can help you out if you're stuck in a situation where you might have gotten a little lost. Every outdoorsman knows that a knife is essential. It's just another basic tool to have in case you're stuck in a sticky situation. Um, I like to carry a multi-tool that has a couple different tools on it that might help me out if I get in a bind. Sunscreen is important too, or some sort of sun protection like a hat or long sleeve shirts. If you're outside for an extended period of time, uh, even though it's cloudy out like it is today, you can still get sunburned. Every hiker knows that water is an essential to have out on the trail, especially for those extended hikes. So be sure to have your water bottle filled up and bring more water than you think is necessary. Now that we've covered how to get ready for a day hike, let's move on to some trail etiquette. And the first piece of etiquette, something you're all probably familiar with, is the idea of pack in, pack out. So whenever you go into a natural area or a good hiking spot, Anything you bring in with you, you want to pack out. So it's really not cool to litter and leave things lying around. And we generally just want to leave an area how we found it. Unfortunately, motorized vehicles can cause a lot of damage to trails, whether that's digging out large ruts, creating erosion prone areas, or just driving through spaces that wildlife regularly uses. It's good etiquette to only use motorized vehicles in designated areas. Not only can motorized vehicles damage trails, but they can also be a hazard for other hikers, bikers, or horseback riders. Especially on trails that are not marked for motorized vehicles, there's often a reason for that. If there's sharp turns or bends in the trail, 
a motorized vehicle could come around that turn and surprise a hiker or a rider who isn't expecting a vehicle to be on that trail. Another easy way to prevent erosion is when you get to a muddy spot, maybe a puddle on the trail. Uh, it's really, really easy to kind of skirt around it and avoid that area, but uh, what that's actually doing is eroding that spot around the puddle and making it bigger. So if you're wearing proper hiking shoes or boots to begin with, it's no problem to step through the mud and keep going. Another big part of trail ethics is to follow the rules of the trail. So for instance, a lot of trails are marked as to whether people, people and bikes, or people, bikes, and horses should be on those trails. Uh, and that is done for a very good reason. Uh, not only to help prevent erosion on the trail, but also for safety. So if you think about it this way, maybe you're taking a hike on a trail that's pretty narrow, so it's limited to hikers only. Uh, and you happen to round a turn and there's a horse coming at you from the trail, uh, that could pose a safety hazard for those walkers who aren't expecting a horse to be coming the other way on the trail. It could also maybe potentially startle the horse as well. And especially with vehicles too, uh, people who are hiking on hiking only trails are not going to be expecting a vehicle to be coming the other way and again can create a hazardous situation. So it's always a good idea and an ethical idea to pay attention to the rules of the trail and pay attention to what you should and shouldn't be doing on that trail. So we hope this information on day hiking tips and ethics has been helpful to you and helps to make a responsible environment for hiking and enjoying the outdoors in general. So until next time, happy hiking.